ったねー。Recently, I got a Kruv sifter. If you haven't seen that video, I will put it right here. This is the Kruv sifter. So what it does is it separates your particles, your coffee particles from boulders to mid-size to the microfines, right? So today is my first time to experiment on it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove the microfine particles and then also the big boulders. In order for me to remove the big boulders only, on the first level of sifting, um, we need to change this to a bigger one. Because we're doing, we're actually grinding for maybe around 700 microns. So we need those to pass through the second level. All right. So we have 1,100 microns here. Right, so for today's coffee, we're gonna use the Ethiopia Irga Chef Edido from About Milos Coffee Roastery. So since we are sifting out the microfine particles, the 13 gram dose, we're gonna add some more. So instead of doing exactly 13, we're gonna do maybe 15 grams. Because remember, we, we are removing some particles. Right, so we have 15 grams of coffee. And then, we're gonna do 21 clicks on the Comandante. And that is around 21 times 30, 630. So, we are doing 630 microns. Okay, and today our goal is to get rid of the bigger boulders, which is the 1,100 microns and above, and then get rid of the microfine particles as well. That is 300 microns and below, right? gonna put our coffee here right so what we're gonna do right now is close it and then we're gonna shake By the way, you can shift this vigorously, okay? You don't need to be gentle about it. Right, let's open it. So, oh wow, the top part, we have a lot. Okay, and then... Let's put it there here. Then the middle part, this is what we want. And then here is the micro fine particles. So this is actually the particle distribution of Comandante. So you have big boulders right here. This is the 600 microns. Actually, anywhere from 1,000 microns and below, up to 300. And then this is the 300 microns and below. So these are the microfine particles. Let's weigh that. Um, Let's weigh the microfine particles. So for a 15 gram dose, um, you actually have 
0.9 grams of microfine particles. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Now we're gonna weigh the the middle part. Uh, this is this is actually what I want to use for the brew. Wow. Okay, out of the 15 gram dose, we only got 10 grams. So we lost five, ah, we lost one gram to the microfine particles. And I'm sure this is four grams, the boulders. Right, so we're gonna put it back here. Okay, now we're gonna weigh the boulders. Yeah, see? The boulders is 4 grams. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna brew this one, the middle part, which is anywhere from 300 microns up to 1000 microns, right? So we got rid of the boulders and we got rid of the microfine particles. Instead of doing 13 gram dose to 200 ml, we're gonna do 10 gram dose right now. 150 ml of water Okay, and then We're gonna put our coffee The drawdown is quite nice actually Because we got rid of the microfine particles remember and also I'm not trying to pour very hard or pour very slow just normal um, normal pouring amount all right our final drawdown is around two minutes and ten seconds let's try there is a lot missing from that cup um, number one it doesn't have it doesn't have any sort of body it's very thin um, understandably, because we got rid of the microfine particles. And kind of astringent as well. Um, the acidity is quite high. It's not sweet at all. Not floral too. <laughs> Which should be because we used an Ethiopia beans. Yeah, the mouthfeel is very different it's weird because the mouthfeel um, is as if you used um, an old coffee to brew it it's like a used coffee grounds and you and then you brewed with it that's how it tastes like it's 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 watered down it's so much diluted it doesn't taste much of anything no, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this cup. It could be because of the the temperature distribution. So the boulders, I I assume the boulders does a lot of things for the coffee when you're brewing it. I think it absorbs much of the water or it absorbs much of the heat because as it is, it doesn't taste much of anything, but it's a bit bitter. It's astringent. All right. Um, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do a reading on the R2 extract. Let's see what it says. Oh, see? Yeah, it's over extracted. The reading is above 1.7, and the right number that we're looking for is below 1.6, and. Right now, our extraction is 1.7. Doesn't taste much of anything, but it's bitter. It's astringent. I think the boulders will play a big part on your brew as much as the microfine particles will do. Um, this is how grinders differ from each other, their particle distribution. So if your grinder produces a lot of microfine particles, it will be bold, it will be a lot stronger. You can over extract them easily, more easily than other grinders. 
Um, you have a lot of body, of course. If you do it right, more sweetness in the cup. This is weird because we got just the middle part, right? So we got rid of the boulders and the microfine particles. And this cup right here is very weird. Again, it doesn't taste much of anything, doesn't have doesn't have a scent, doesn't smell anything. Yet it's astringent and bitter. It, because we are over extracted, as um according to the R2 extract. Right? So in the future videos I will be um doing more experiments with the crew. Should we get rid of the boulders? Should we put the boulders in? Should we get rid of the microfine particles or should we put the microfine particles instead of the boulders? Yeah, so experiments like that, right? But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!